This print is entitled Out of Reach. This was a little sketch that I had done, like most of my prints when I begin them, and I was doing a number of images that were relating to, I guess, family, like parent-child or grandparent grandchild type of relationships. And I was playing with those ideas. I was really enjoying exploring some of these ideas as I was drawing some sketches. And this one sketch really appealed to me and I decided I wanted to make it into a print. And like most prints, when I decide I want to move from sketch to print, I have to love the image. I have to fall in love with that image so much because I'm going to be with that image, carving that image and recarving that image and printing that image for probably three to four months. And so the process is so long and involved that, um, that I, I need to make sure that it's something that, that is going to stick with me. And this one definitely did. I um I loved everything about this image and um and it came together quite nicely without too much too much trouble. I remember after having finished the printing, I I had some general ideas even about what I wanted the text to say and and it, everything seemed to be coming along very well as far as things go. This was a relatively smooth and easy print to make, partly because I, I was so excited about it and loved it so much. Um, so I had written the first part of this text, um, which I really liked, which reads, Being out of reach didn't mean it wasn't worth reaching for. Now, that's not the end of the text, but I'm going to stop there for a moment. And that is an idea that I have lived with for many years, and it's, it feels very good to me. It resonates with the way I approach life in general. I was also feeling, though, that I wanted it to say something more. That as it was, that text was nice, and it, and it related to the image, but there was more I wanted to say and that was that was beyond just what the image was expressing because here the flower is out of reach but in the course of drawing I had, had this petal falling out of the uh, out of the flower that came from the came from the top of the print and um, you know, it was just a little bit of a revelation that um, that that little animal wasn't going to be able to get that whole flower, obviously, but that the flower did relinquish something, this beautiful petal. And I, I don't know what the petal will offer to that small animal. I have ideas, and I'll let you come up with your own, but that wasn't the point. And the point was that um, the second part of what the text says. It says, and what was offered? Well, that was just right. And altogether, being out of reach didn't mean it wasn't worth reaching for, and what was offered, well, that was just right. I think that the second half of the text now means more to me because, sure, we can all reach for the stars, and that's the way I like to live. But it's not very often that we reach everything that we reach for. We sometimes fall short, but in every instance, if we're sincere and what we reach for, what we are trying to achieve 
if we believe or feel that with our whole hearts, then, then we get something back. Whatever it is, we'll get something back. And, um, and, and if our motives are true, that, that thing that we get back, well, that's just right. Right.